Okay, so we are gonna do um, a quick blood draw and walk you through how to do um, a blood draw with a standard needle puncture needle, um, sometimes known as the straight needle. And we're gonna do a multi-tube draw and try to be able to get on camera um, how to keep that needle um, steady. So the key with um, drawing blood is to make sure that you have all of your um, equipment assembled. I don't know if you can see, but everything kind of assembled before you actually start to do the blood drawing procedure. So I have my needle assembled. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the needle hub. And then if you know your order of draw, sometimes I like to lay it into the um, vacutainer. I don't push it on to the needle because it'll blow the vacuum in the tube, but I just kind of lay it there. Then I have my alcohol pads, gauze, coban for after the procedure is done, band-aids up top if need be, um, paper tape, and then all of the tubes. So I'm going to put the tourniquet on the patient's arm. You want to make sure that you leave your bunny ears up top, loop at the bottom so that you'll be able to untie it one-handed. Make this for me. And then I'm going to feel where I want to draw. And I kind of like this one right here. Um, it feels really good underneath. It's nice and um, plump underneath there. I'm going to have you put your fist underneath your um, elbow to support it. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. So the whole th point is to make sure you do this pretty quickly. Um, so once the tourniquet goes on, you want to make sure that it stays on for less than a minute. So you want to take your alcohol pad, wipe from the center outward in a circle. Once you're done, you want to make sure that you anchor your vein so that it doesn't roll away. Go about a 40 degree angle. Now, once I know that I'm good and in the vein, I'm gonna hold this needle steady. And I do that by taking these three fingers and keeping them on the patient's forearm and controlling the hub of the um, vacutainer with the uh, my thumb and my forefinger. And then that allows me to undo the tourniquet with the other hand one-handed and also to change my tubes out one-handed. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take some blood in each of those tubes. Make sure you draw your tubes in the correct order. And then when you're done, I make sure I take all the tubes off, um, pull out, then down, have the patient push that down, hold pressure on it, put your guard up over your needle, straight into the sharps container. So um, the last thing that you wanna make sure that you do is that you have the patient hold the um, uh, pressure down on over their puncture wound for a little while to help prevent a bruise from forming. A lot of times patients will um, be told to bend their arm and that doesn't really do a whole lot to prevent bruising from happening. Holding pressure down will stop the bleeding that'll activate the clot process and that will help stop them from um, bleeding which will help prevent bruising more than uh, bending or holding their arm up well. So I'm gonna check. Make sure that she's doing okay. Looks like she's starting to clot there. I get some clean gauze. Hold that for me. I like using Coban. Um, Band-aids work just fine. Paper tape, plastic tape, it all works just fine. I like Coban because it's a good pressure bandage. Aftercare instructions. Don't pick up anything heavy. Don't carry your purse with this arm. Okay. Try not to bend your arm for 10 minutes or so, okay? Okay. So when you're done then, you wanna make sure that you label all of your 
um, tubes right in front of the patient. So um, you're going to label them with the patient's name and um, date of birth, the date and time of collection, and uh, your initials, the ordering physician. Now, most of these tubes will have labels pre-printed pre um, because most of the systems now, the lab systems work off of electronic health records now, and so that makes it really easy. Then you just need to initial and write date and time on it. Um, but otherwise, you want to make sure that your lab tubes are always labeled ahead of time um, before the patient leaves so that they can verify that that was their blood labeled with the correct patient information. Okay, do you have any questions before you go? Yeah. Perfect, thank you.